Hey, hey, everybody in YouTube land. Sorry I haven't been filming, but uh, got a little sick over the stupid virus. But I'm back now, and uh, we have this beautiful 69 Firebird here at the shop. Customer just dropped it off. We're going to be doing a heads cam and intake. Um, roller rockers, roller lifters, roller cam. Upgrade the exhaust, upgrade the brakes, upgrade the suspension. But really nice. 69 Very pretty It's got a little bit here and there that we need to be touched up, but other than that very beautiful car very beautiful Love the stance All right, Lee, go ahead and put it in. But, yeah, we've been pretty busy here at the shop. Haven't really had time to do any videos. Plus, like I said, I've been away for uh, about two weeks. Getting the virus over the before Christmas. Finding out Christmas Eve that, hey, you're infected. But, hey. But, shop's looking pretty good. My guy's been taking care of it while I'm gone. We got this uh, Cobra in here. Thought the throwout bearing was making noise. And we're like, well, shoot, we just put the new throw bearing in it. How is it making noise? Well, it turned out it wasn't throwout bearing. If you look over here, this shaft is actually supposed to be attached to here. And yeah, so that's why. And you can see where it kind of rode on. See how it's kind of rode on there. But this is still good because the clutch only comes down to here. So it doesn't go into here. So we're good there. So we'll reuse this. We got a billet style uh, sleeve. So we'll get that taken care of. And then this car will be back on the road. And then the CUDA is pretty much done, other than I have to tune the carburetor, which uh, I'm waiting for my rebuild kit. And I got the wideband set up, so I just gotta figure out how to data log the RPMs with the air fuel ratio so we can see what's going on there so I can tune that. And this here, a lot of work done, done to this one. So we got the engine transmission in, as you guys can see. It's a, uh, I believe an 89. Don't quote on me, don't quote me, but I believe it's an 89 Fox body engine. So we got the engine, transmission, wire harness, and computer. So we'll be wiring that up. Uh, back here, we've been doing some welding. <sighs> Installed a new cell pan. Got that fixed. The old one was kind of pushed in and it was wrinkled. Um, also over here there is quite a bit of holes so we got that all cleaned up we'll weld that up and finish it up clean it up a little bit more than that this side wasn't so bad just needs to be cleaned up and painted um, the only problem is this is slightly smaller so when we put the tail lights in it doesn't really fit too well so we got to modify this to fit this was really bad because if you can see this has been already damaged, so we kind of filled up some metal in here and did what we did there. This is what it's supposed to look like. So as you can see, it's a little bit different. So, we this was a big old huge hole. I can stick my finger in it. So, we uh, filled up a little bit of metal there. And now, looks pretty good. Got some seam sealer in it. And we're good there. And then while we took the interior out, we saw a little bit of holes. So those little white spots, those are holes. And there's more. So we're going to be cutting this out. That side there is a little soft, so we're going to be cutting that side out too. There's no holes yet, but it's rusted and it's getting thin. But uh, the front of the floors seem okay. We'll just uh, clean it up and paint that 
and clean up that side and paint that but everything else looks pretty dang good so we'll be working on it yeah so they, the guys have been pretty busy uh, we got a few other cars out that wasn't here for um, to video or take pictures but my guys have been on it we got this transmission here torn down we're rebuilding it it was slipping uh, we're also going to get a new torque converter for it but uh, yeah we're doing it we're getting on it the guys are working pretty good this one here we're, the 69 uh, Firebird we're gonna do a top-end kit fuel injection we'll go with the Holly sniper setup uh, electronic ignition uh, it still has points right now so yeah this one's gonna look really nice but anyways you guys have a good one talk to you later oh don't forget like subscribe to these videos so I can get these videos out more and faster um, and if you guys can share it it really helps well you guys have a good day bye bye